Well, good morning. We have realized that so many people struggle to eat higher amount of calories and not feel super full. So today we are gonna be eating 2,300 calories mm -hmm. and showing you how we do it without getting really full, without feeling sick, without going to bed feeling really bloated. So we're gonna be kind of documenting like breakfast, lunch, dinner, showing you how to make the more like calorie dense foods. That way you can get a sense of what we would choose to eat if we had to eat 2,300 calories a day. So when you start your journey and you're eating a higher level of calories than you're used to eating, you can take some of our tips and tricks and apply it to your, your own journey. Are you just gonna, you're not gonna say goodbye to them? Do you wanna say goodbye? <laughs> say goodbye. skinny egg McMuffin but today since we're eating 2300 calories we're gonna make it a little bit more calorie dense so we're gonna do two full eggs three sausages and a full English muffin I don't know. so you're back Jess is helping now what are you making English muffins you guys remember when you actually had to work they didn't pre split the muffins and you actually had to get a fork and split split this in half. Do you remember that? We are going to be recording our podcast intro. We can say that at this point. Can you hear me? Oh. Wow. Can you hear me? It's, it feels a little bit whiny. <laughs> check, check, check. Tell them about the snack. We made yogurt bowls. 170 grams of Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt super high in protein. We usually like to put fruit and different toppings in there. And that's the fun part about yogurt bowls is you can make them different and fun every single day. So. Melissa always does strawberries, flaked almonds, and chocolate chips. I prefer blueberries when blueberries are in season. It's oh. very upsetting. Okay, got it. So blueberries are not in season. No. Strawberries are really good here in Texas right now. Okay, they are really good. If you are someone who's trying to lose weight, a very easy swap is to use Greek yogurt that has zero fat in it. It's gonna make the calories way low, but the protein's still really high. There's like 20 grams of protein yeah. just in this yogurt bowl alone. If you're someone like us who's trying to eat 2,300 calories or more and you don't want to feel full, one thing that you can do is swap out a low fat or fat free yogurt for a full fat yogurt. So something like a 4% yogurt is gonna give you much more fat. The calories are gonna be almost close to double and that's gonna just immediately give you more calories without having to eat more food. Mm -hmm. And like you'll see, I mean in ours, like we didn't put that much, that many like nuts and stuff in it. If you're really struggling to, you know, get your calories in, like add more nuts to this. I think like you have done um, like honey like in the past, like flaked coconut, like you can just like really, you know, build this up to be as calorie dense as you want. and the volume that it's gonna take up in your stomach is gonna be about the same. So yeah. that's why we love these because they're they're really flexible. It's not emotional eating. You said have a chocolate and feel better. Okay, because you're a little scary right now, to be honest with you. You're okay. gaslighting so now. This is calorie slicing at its finest. We're having for, I never know how to say it. I also had a speech impediment when I was younger, so the R's really tripped me up. Ferrero Rocher. Ferrero Rocher. Just say it fast. Ferrero Rocher. So what's happening is we're working and Jess is starting to go downhill. So I'm bringing her a nice little treat. Say, pep up, sweetheart. <laughs> pep up, pep up. Ready 
to make our sandwich? <laughs> Honestly, where are, we, where are the plates? What do you think the plates are? If you had to guess, more, there's more plates up there, right? There. You don't see plates in there? This is the best sourdough bread ever. The best. So, fun fact about bread you need to weigh your bread before you toast it because when you toast it, it takes some of the water out. If it takes the water out, then it's gonna weigh less. So, always weigh your bread before toasting it. And we are looking for about 75 grams. Toaster is not big enough, so we're gonna toast each side. <laughs> Standing behind me like that. Stop! Melissa does not have cheese in her house. So I am going to use avocado, kind of lubricate the sandwich. Oh. If I open the bag. Now, again, if you're someone who's trying to get in more calories, you're having that much avocado on your sandwich. I'm saying 80 grams, you 80 grams, or 50 grams of avocado. Okay, so this is what we are gonna do instead of cheese. It's a healthy fat and it's gonna give us a good, almost 80 calories, I think. Actually, avocado is very healthy for you. Healthy fast. No. Come closer, Michelle, come see. Come see come my on, turkey Michelle. sandwich. Don't be afraid of the Dad turkey. yelled at me. Don't be afraid of the turkey, Michelle. Come see our turkey sandwich. It's not focusing, hang on. Okay, there we go. All right, I mean, we're close enough to four ounces. You go with that? That's fine, yeah. Okay, you gonna put some lettuce on top? Yeah. Wow! She loves pickles. And bite into it. You're also, actually supposed to eat one. I'm, not, I'm really not trying to be sexual whatsoever. I'm literally, I genuinely love big pickles. <laughs> These are the best. The Cape Cod, 40% sea salt and vinegar. These are dangerous to have. Like you should definitely get these in individual portions. Look at that. You need to have all that with calories. So cycling. don't anyone ever tell me that you can't have chips and lose weight because Look here you go. Right here. Look at that. When's the last time you've had something like this for lunch? On a, On a diet. diet. This is it. Lunch, turkey sandwich, avocado, sea salt and vinegar chips, and a big old pickle. And take a collective bite. Hold on. Okay, go. Mm-hmm. What happened to your bread? It was too much. Too much bread. It felt... Eat it. A bite. It's really good sourdough. Is that another box of crumbles? <laughs> Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. He did it. <laughs> yes, it is. Honestly, what is this? Number three or four that we've had this week. This is calorie cycling at its finest, you guys. What do we have here? Kentucky butter cake. Sugar. Sugar. Chocolate. Chocolate chip. Pink frosting. Banana. What's your favorite? Chocolate chip always. Mm. And the sugar. Okay, anyways, it's time for a snack. We already pre-planned our day. Can you just come look at how many, how many English muffins I have in here? This is outrageous. I feel like I should be, look at, there. more in the back. More in the back, get them in the back. Okay, so anyways. Hold we're gonna on, let me let us see all the English muffins. Oh my God, how many English muffins do you have? Watch out, move it your hand, one, stop one. fidgeting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many English muffins do you have? Let's buy one, get one. Oh my God. Anyways, okay. So we are gonna go with the cinnamon protein English muffins. And these have, these have really good macros on them. So 140 calories for a muff. One gram of fat, 24 grams of carbs, not bad. And then eight grams of protein for a whole thing. Let's so the label. let me see the label, let me see the, what do they look like? No. Oops, cinnamon and protein. Hmm. And I love these because they don't really taste artificial. So me and Jess are gonna split one. Gonna lather some almond butter on it. Crunchy or smooth? Yes, yeah, spread crunchy, Jess. You always have the crunch. I wish you guys off. could see Jess holding the camera because. Where's the bottle? <laughs> The only thing these video series are gonna serve to show is that you are indeed a bully. What kind of butter we got there? Almond butter. Oh, here's one thing to pay attention to. I made this mistake. You don't wanna make this mistake. Accidentally, not paying attention, I got no sugar or salt added, which like, okay, fine, if that's what you wanna be. But this one with the sugar and salt added is so much better. Oh, yes! <laughs> Action shot! Shark, shark week! <laughs> Got the action shot! <laughs> I'm Jessica, I'm holding a camera. 
Okay, well you guys let me know if mine looks better than Melissa's because at least her head is not cut off of all of them. <laughs> Why are you standing like that? Because I have to do what I have to do to Why get the shot. Why are your legs so close together? Because I'm nervous. <laughs> <'Cause you're> nervous. <laughs> and then see what we're going to do. We're going to leave this right here. And then I'm just going to tear it. Mm -hmm. Get it back to zero. And now I'm going to take out another 15. Delicious. Watch the bomb bus. Get out that way. Wow. No respect. I get no respect. Mm -hmm. That's how I feel when I do the dishes for all you people. Who do you want to do the dishes, Melissa? I did the dishes for you last night. Okay, so we are about to hop on our legacy call. Tonight we have Michelle, who's our mindset specialist who's gonna be leading the call tonight. On, what are you talking about? Visualization. So that's a really big piece. You know, when everything we do in our program, obviously related to calorie cycling and nutrition and working out and everything like that. But a big part of all of this has to do with mindset and getting, you know, everything that's going on in your brain aligned with what you're trying to do from a nutrition perspective and from an exercise perspective. So that's a huge part of everything that we really focus on in our program. So we're going to head over to the legacy call and have, um, you know, our call with Michelle and we'll be back on in a little bit to talk to you guys about how the call went and uh, you know, what we chatted about then. Okay. So we actually had to come sit on the bed because Michelle is in my kitchen and there's no other quiet spot. So me and Jess are going to take the call from bed. Come here, honey. We just finished our legacy call. It was so good tonight. Michelle talked about visualization and manifestation and just how powerful that can be in your life. So something that we really recommend a lot of our one-on-one -on -one clients do, all of our legacy members do. It's just, it really is life-changing once you can start to, you know, control the outcomes in your life and almost kind of take control back and, and be in the driver's seat of your own life. I think that's something that we talk about all the time, right? I mean, we, and that's something we talked about on tonight's call. Life is so busy that it feels like so many of us are just kind of operating on autopilot or even to the, to the point where you're almost like numb, right? Like you were saying, yeah. you kind of wake up, you just go through the day going through all the motions and then all of a sudden you're like, I don't know where the day went or I don't know where the week went or I have no idea where last year went. And it's because we're acting, like you said, as passengers yeah. to our own life. So Michelle really went over how that visualization technique can really help you take back control and be the driver and the creator of your own life. Focus on what are the outcomes that you want to create and not just keep letting life dictate yeah. where you go. Yeah. So it's so powerful. powerful. Yeah. So if you want more information on legacy, it is in the description below. So you can always go check that out and we'd love to have you. But yeah, we have amazing amazing calls every single week with our legacy team so yeah it was a good one tonight now that we just kind of finished up the day we're gonna go for a walk. probably for a walk um then come back shower make dinner or make dinner shower we'll see kind of how we're feeling um and then have dessert and then hopefully oh and then jess's husband gets in tonight oh, yeah. so he is he was trying to surprise jess and come down to dallas i don't but like surprises she doesn't do all well surprises so he ended up just telling her that he's coming so we're gonna go pick him up from the airport and then come back and everyone's going to bed immediately because I do not do well with late nights. So we're gonna go for a walk and then we'll see you guys later. Ready to go for a walk? Yeah, I feel like I need a hat. I need a hat and I need gloves and I need a scarf maybe. It feels very cold. Do you like when people are on the elevator with you or no? No. Depends on my mood. I don't like when anyone's on the elevator. Why not? It's awkward and you feel like you have to say something and then I start swallowing really hard. I feel like you can say hi and just be a nice person. I say hi when I leave, but it's kind of like if they're not- you say hi when you leave? <laughs> <laughs> hi, bye. That's awkward. That just sums you I up in a nutshell. What's for dinner? Chipotle. <laughs> Chipotle lime shrimp from Legacy. Jess is gonna make it. What are you doing? Some rice. Do we have rice still? 
Huh? Do you have enough rice? I don't know. Do you have rice in this house? Yes. Do you have rice in this house? I showed you the 25 pound bag we have. I forgot. It's brain fog. I added dairy back in. That's why. I'm dirty fingers. He's a germaphobe and so he exaggerates, but no, I always wash my hands after being out. He touch all the things. Then I'm about to cook dinner and it's dirty. What's the grossest story that you can remember? Or like the longest you've gone without washing your hands? Like riding subways? Yeah, either New York City or living in Latin America for sure. What about it? Um, just like kind of being on buses and not having any hand sanitizer or like just bathrooms that you'd have to go in and just go to the bathroom and not. Like when you go to the bathroom in the um, pails. <laughs> what? No, oh, it was, oh no, it was, no. oh, you can't flush, you, you can't, can't flush, flush it. No, so you no, have no. to wipe but yeah, it. Not every bathroom had like a full like running faucet, so maybe it was probably Nicaragua. Mine was New York. Yeah, subway. Subway is nasty. Yeah. But I feel like at that point when you're in New York, you just don't care. Yeah, I just I would be very mindful of like holding the thing and then like kind of holding my like that hand doesn't touch anything else. But what about your phone? I would touch. And then you touch hand. your fob. Like you no. can't you can't just use one hand for everything. So are you the type now that you come in you have to like shower to get the outside off you? Yes. I've always been that way. Ever since living in New York, we've always been that yeah. way. Yeah. Because it's dirty. Just wash everything off. Do you feel gross even though it was cold outside? No. Gross, even though it's cold out. Yeah, like you have yeah. to really. Yeah, I always. Anytime I go, go out, sleep. like step foot outside the house, I want to come back. Like at night before I go to sleep, I always will shower before I go to sleep. Like, you think you're better? No, I'm just saying. <laughs> every single night, you do the same thing. I, do. I have to shower every night before I go to bed. Really I don't like time it. putting this. Are you gonna follow directions tonight? Mm. Uh, is this a one cup? Do you usually do a cup of rice? Two cups. Two cups, Two and cups. then three cups of water. Only three? Yeah. And then what? Okay, we're good. Just waiting on the rice to cook. What about the scrimps? Take like two seconds, they're already pre-cooked. Here is the secret to shrimp, is you get, always get tail off, right? Tail off and the ones that are already peeled, like the frozen ones. But yeah, definitely get tail off, you don't have to do that. And then if you get the pre-cooked, then you just have to really like throw them in for a second really just to warm them up. Um, we're cooking them in the wok today, so it's fine because you're just only gonna cook for a few seconds. But if I was cooking them in the air fryer, I'd probably try to find the raw ones with the tail Why? off. Why? Because those will, they're already cooked. So if you put them in an air fryer, they're gonna get- I did not know that. Pretty rubbery. So if you get the raw ones, they won't hmm. feel as rubbery. Look at that, Jess taught us something new tonight. It's not surprising. I know, I'm like, hmm. Minced garlic is, again, one of my favorite things because it just makes everything taste so much better. It does not require a lot of work. You can do it very quickly without having to sit there and spend 15 minutes peeling garlic and chopping it and your hands smell and all the things that go along with it. So minced garlic is definitely one of my go-tos. That's the shot. <laughs> That's the shot. That came out really good. Look at what Jess did. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. So, so healthy. Mm -hmm. Where can so, we find so a good. recipe like that? Legacy. It's in Legacy. You can do it in the air fryer. We did it in a skillet and A wok. Um, maybe I'll do like a chipotle lime shrimp two ways. Okay. <laughs> You're really sweaty. Are you okay? Sweaty? No, it's just my makeup. <laughs> I'm not sweating. What's the beverage that's supporting the meal? I don't water. drink anything while I eat because it's not good for digestion, so. I'm gonna chug water. It's, it's not really good for it. I know, I know, I can't help it. I'm gonna chug water though. We are heading out to the airport to it go. It is, sorry, time is it again? No, what? So just tell what time it is. It's nine o'clock at night. We are heading out to the airport to pick up Joe, my husband. <laughs> He is on his way to come hang out with us for the next couple days as we finish up filming. So we're heading there and then we will come back and we are going to make our final meal of the day, which is oats. our protein pack. Protein oats. oats, which I think is a good learning lesson that it doesn't matter what time of night it is. For weight loss, you can eat food straight up until you go to sleep. So we're gonna come back and eat oats probably around 10 p.m. <laughs> we're back. We're gonna make some oats make some protein packed oats. Joe's eating Jess's shrimp. So does it matter that you're eating? I don't like to eat this late because I don't like 
going to bed with a full stomach, but it doesn't do anything in terms of weight loss. Okay, so we added in liquid egg whites and 2% fair life for protein, and now we're going to add in strawberries, semi-sweet chocolate chips, and sliced almonds. If you do two servings of liquid egg whites in your oatmeal number one, it's going to make it a lot like bulkier, so you'll have more volume. The other thing is if you do add in two servings, you're going to have about 10 grams of protein, which is crazy. So if you are someone that struggles to get in protein and you're like, well, I don't want to eat meat or whatever, this is a really quick and easy way to kind of like hide the protein. Mm -hmm. Hide the protein, <laughs> sounds dirty. So there it is, dessert protein packed oats. Get to go to sleep with a belly full of Bite it. <laughs> oats. Mm. <laughs> well, it has been a long day of eating a lot of food and we are finally headed to bed. Yeah, so hopefully that was helpful for you guys to see. Wow, I'm just hungry. <laughs> it's past my bedtime. Hopefully that was helpful for you guys to see how we eat 2,300 calories in a day and don't feel so full. And we're still gonna wake up tomorrow morning and we won't be any bigger. So you can do it too. Um, hope that was helpful. If there was anything that you liked the most about what we had, make sure to let us know in the comments below and we will see you next time. Night, night.